A small sphere hangs from a string attached to the ceiling of a uniformly accelerating train car. It is observed that the string makes an angle of 37 degrees with respect to the vertical. The magnitude of the acceleration A of the train car is most nearly. Once again, this analysis requires of a correct free body diagram. If you consider that this particle represents the weight, you know that there is a gravitational force mg and there is a tension force T over here. And basically, those are the only two forces that are making this object accelerate. Now, it is accelerating forward like this, which means that your net force or resultant force is basically the tension along the x-axis. This means, of course, that your tension along the y-axis must be equal to mg and it basically means that you have a forward acceleration like this any downward gravitational acceleration like this for which this vector represents the direction of the tension. Now, given that this angle is 37 degrees, A divided by G is equal to the tangent of 37, which means that A is equal to 10 tangent of 37 degrees which is approximately, because this is a special triangle, three-fourths or 7.5 meters per second squared, option E.